and 12th century England, a land of knights, nobles, and legends, is slowly starting to awaken from the Dark Ages. A few brave souls struggle against darkness, embracing science, literature, and social justice. And still, fearsome creatures seem to lurk in shadows, and fear of the unknown runs deep among the people. To arm! Get out, you demon! God save us all! It could be magic. Evil magic. Neither of you get it, do you? Those killings took place near the ocean. The half-guffer done it. The sea mist, they call it. We will do what we can, no matter the cost. Whatever it is out there. A wizard without magic, in search of truth. And an archer without a home, seeking justice and knowledge. A man of learning would know a wizard's power comes from their knowledge and experience, rather than their gender. Now, would you have a copy of Alhazen's works on optics? Join together with the most famous thief of all time. So Lord Roberts trusts your lot with the duty of seizing Lady Blakely? That's a bit of a questionable decision, don't you think? Robin Hood is... From James G. Maynard, director of The AI Man, comes The Wizard and the Scholar, or A Rapscallion Runs Amok in Rye. Arriving summer 2024 from The Cosmic Companion. Many people believe eclipses are a sign from God. Wizards tend to hold they are a portent of things to come. Scholars east of Egypt say that eclipses like this are caused by the moon passing into the shadow of Earth. They may also hearken us to new times. Is that also a belief of theirs? It is a belief of mine. The wizard and the scholar, nothing is what it seems. Coming summer 2024 from the Cosmic Companion.